it can be so frustrating when you're trying to attract a healthy relationship into your life. But keep attracting emotionally unavailable people. You may feel like you're doing something wrong or that there's something wrong with you. You might even start to doubt your ability to have a healthy and fulfilling relationship. The good news is that you're not alone. In this video, we'll explore the reasons why emotionally unavailable people seem to be drawn to us. And more importantly, how we can stop chasing them and start attracting healthy relationships instead. Why are the emotionally unavailable drawn to us? Number 1. Fear of Rejection One possible reason why emotionally unavailable people might be drawn to us is because they fear rejection. This fear of rejection may stem from past experiences in which they felt rejected, humiliated, or abandoned. They may then become hypervigilant in their relationships and get into the habit of avoiding any kind of emotional intimacy or vulnerability. This can make us feel as though they are not interested in getting close to us, when in reality, they may be scared of the potential for rejection. Number 2. Codependency Issues Codependency is a condition where an individual develops unhealthy or overly dependent behaviors in order to maintain relationships. It can manifest in many different ways, such as relying on someone for emotional validation, seeking approval from others, and attempting to control or manipulate the other person. People who are codependent often seek out emotionally unavailable people because it gives them an illusion of control. They can avoid getting too close to someone while still being able to have a relationship. Number 3. Attachment Trauma The attachment trauma from past relationships can manifest itself in a variety of ways, making it difficult to trust and be open with another person. In some cases, the trauma may have originated from an early childhood experience, such as a traumatic event or an absent parent. It can also stem from a tumultuous relationship in adulthood that left them feeling betrayed, hurt, or abandoned. The fear of being emotionally vulnerable and being rejected again keeps them from investing in new relationships and makes it hard for them to get close to someone else. They may find themselves attracted to emotionally unavailable people because they feel safe and secure in those types of relationships. However, in reality, they are simply avoiding dealing with any unresolved issues they may still have. It's important to recognize when someone is emotionally unavailable, as this can help us avoid getting too involved or attached to them. Number 4. Poor self-image or low self-esteem People with low self-esteem or a poor self-image often struggle to trust others and find it difficult to open up and be vulnerable in relationships. This can lead them to seek out relationships with people who aren't fully available because it feels safer, and they might feel less vulnerable to possible rejection or abandonment. Additionally, those with poor self-image might have a distorted perspective of what relationships should look like, and they may view an emotionally unavailable person as being more desirable or attractive than someone who is emotionally available. Number 5. Approval and Validation from Others People with unmet needs often try to seek approval and validation from others in an attempt to fill the void within themselves. They end up in relationships with people who are emotionally unavailable as a way to avoid facing their own insecurities and inadequacies. They may use this validation as a way to mask their insecurities and create a false sense of self-worth. They may be attracted to the idea of being able to control the other person and avoid getting too close, while still having a relationship in some form or another. Number 6. Fear of Intimacy Fear of intimacy can lead people to gravitate towards emotionally unavailable partners as a way to avoid getting too close or having their feelings exposed. 
This type of relationship can provide a sense of safety and security, as one doesn't have to worry about being hurt or rejected. Additionally, those with a fear of intimacy might be attracted to the independence and lack of commitment that comes with an emotionally unavailable relationship. Number 7. Wrong Beliefs About Relationships People with wrong beliefs about relationships and what constitutes love may be drawn to emotionally unavailable people because these types of relationships appear easier and less complicated. They may view the lack of vulnerability connected to these type of relationships as an advantage, as it eliminates the risk of getting hurt or rejected. Additionally, those with incorrect or distorted views on relationship might see an emotionally unavailable person as a challenge, something to be conquered and won rather than a source of intimacy and connection. How to stop chasing emotionally unavailable people Number 1. Heal your self-image Self-esteem and self-worth are essential in creating healthy relationships. But many people struggle with these issues due to past experiences. It's essential to take the time to heal our self-image and address any underlying issues we may have. People with a poor self-image may often think of themselves in a negative light, leading to feelings of insecurity and low self-esteem. This can be caused by past experiences, such as childhood abuse, neglect, or rejection. Over time, these experiences can create deep-seated feelings of inadequacy and worthlessness, which can lead to seeking out relationships with emotionally unavailable partners. Taking the time to heal our self-image and build positive relationships with ourselves is essential in creating healthy, loving connections with others. Number 2. Address your need for validation People who have a strong need for external validation may be drawn to relationships with emotionally unavailable people as a way to fill the void within themselves. This can be an unhealthy coping mechanism that leads to desperate behavior such as settling for toxic relationships just so that they can feel wanted or loved by someone else. It's important to address this need and find healthier ways of getting validation and love, such as spending time with supportive family and friends or engaging in meaningful activities like volunteering or pursuing hobbies. Number 3. Don't settle for an emotionally unavailable partner. Despite our best efforts, it can be difficult to resist the temptation of an emotionally unavailable partner. It's important to remember that pursuing a relationship with someone who is unable or unwilling to meet your emotional needs will only lead to feelings of disappointment and frustration in the long run. Don't settle for less than what you deserve and practice self-love until you find someone who is capable of fulfilling your needs on an emotional level. Number 4. Love yourself and set boundaries. Work on building a strong sense of self-worth by loving yourself, setting boundaries, and becoming an assertive communicator. Building a strong sense of self-worth is an essential part of being able to create healthy relationships. Loving yourself begins by taking the time to recognize and appreciate your own strengths, talents, and capabilities. It's also important to practice self-care and set boundaries for yourself so that you can protect your emotional well-being from being taken advantage of by others. In order to have healthier relationships, it helps to develop better communication skills so that you can be an assertive communicator who expresses their needs and feelings clearly. This includes staying true to what you want out of a relationship while at the same time respecting the feelings and needs of others. It's important to remember that building a strong sense of self-worth takes time, as well as patience and understanding. Learning how to love yourself also involves being honest with yourself about what you want out of life, 
and letting go of any guilt or shame you may feel regarding past mistakes or experiences. Additionally, one must practice forgiving themselves for any wrongdoings they may have committed in order to move forward with a healthier outlook on life. Being able to forgive yourself is just another way to show love for oneself. Lastly, it's essential to stay connected with other people who can provide emotional support when needed so that you do not feel isolated or alone during times of difficulty or struggle. Number 5. Take time to heal. Taking some time away from dating or potential partners can be an important step in healing any attachment trauma that may have been experienced in past relationships. This can include exploring the underlying causes of the trauma, such as a past relationship that caused pain, hurt, and disappointment. It is essential to take a look at any lingering feelings of hurt, anger, or resentment and work towards letting go of these negative emotions in order to be able to move forward. Number 6. Seek professional help. Seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor can be an important step in developing better ways of dealing with the relationship challenges. It is essential to find someone who is experienced and understanding, as well as someone who you feel comfortable talking to about your issues. Through therapy, one can gain insight into the relationships and learn more about themselves. Number 7. Practice self-care. Practice consistent self-care rituals such as mindful meditation, journaling, physical exercise, creative activities, and etc. In order to become more aware of your feelings and needs, as well as build a stronger sense of self-love and confidence. Additionally, it is beneficial to practice self-care activities such as journaling, meditation, yoga, or any other hobbies that bring comfort during this time away from relationships. By taking these necessary steps, you can heal your attachment trauma. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the reasons why you may be attracted to emotionally unavailable people and how you can start shifting your focus towards attracting healthy relationships instead. Remember, you are worthy of love and respect. Believe in yourself and take the step towards achieving your relationship goals. Good luck on your journey to healthy relationships! Thank you for watching our video. We hope it was informative and that it helped you gain a better understanding of the patterns of emotionally unavailable people and what we can do to stop chasing them and start attracting healthy relationships instead. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tips on dating, attraction, self-love, law of attraction, holistic healing, and more. Have a great day! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all next time!